Howdy folks, Finny again. So this is a brief video that's going to address something you might run into. So it's a beautiful day here in sunny, hot, humid South Carolina, but I had to cut open my drywall today. So uh, this house was built in 2004 and it uses PEX pipe, which is plastic. Yeah, I guess gone in the days of copper plumbing. Anyway, when we got home, the uh, carpet right here next to this power outlet was wet. So I did what any uh, good homeowner would do. I got my saw and cut out drywall. And here is one of the lines that goes in to feed the shower on the uh, guest bathroom. And see that nice, real sharp bend that they put in here and then they use this little pin and nailed it to the wall. Yeah, so it's leaking right about here. The uh, steep angle with which they bent this pipe create a pressure point and after 16 years of sitting like this, the pipe failed and started a slow leak. Now this happened while we were away on a weekend vacation and if this was left to continue, the pipe could have burst and we'd be having, you know, 15 gallons a minute of water flooding into our house while we were away. So if your house has PEX pipe, you need to be aware of these things because at less than 20 years, they seem to uh, start to fail. Now this house is in South Carolina, so we do not get extreme winters. So pipes freezing are not a super common issue in the South as you'd expect for the North. So this is 16 years of a relatively mild climate and it failed. And I'll have to get probably some shark bites or something, splice that and repair it, but Y'all need to be aware that if your house is built, you know, relatively recently and they don't use copper plumbing, you might be sitting on a bit of a watery landmine waiting to explode. So to the best of your ability, check your plumbing. Be aware of what is running through your house, especially if you live in colder climates. But yeah, if you have PEX pipe, just be mindful that these things can happen. There's a product called a shark bite. You just take it and you slip it on there. And uh, that's how you connect to PEX pipes, but they weren't themselves for 20 years, whatever that's worth. But this is just a real brief informational video to kind of, you know, spread some awareness about this type of plumbing and why copper is so much better. Until we meet again, stay gold.